first day back to work for city councillors had no shortage of fireworks. Things seemed to be going smoothly during the day up until the point Ward 11 councillor Jeremy Farkas attempted to add a motion to the agenda which would have called for increased transparency in city spending, essentially contracts and expenses that exceed $10,000. The city would need to disclose that. Now, a move such as that would have required the support of two-thirds of city councillors. It didn't have it and will now have to wait for another meeting. It was at that moment when things really went off the rails, especially for Mayor Nenshi and Councillor Sean Chu. You but I you asked a question to the clerk. You don't have to be so <laughs> bitchy. I'm sorry to say that. Right? Well, Stop Councilor being Chu, bitchy. Councillor Chu, to be quite frank with you, Councillor Chu, to be quite you're gonna frank get kicked with you, out. he's going to kick you out. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that. Councillor okay, Chu, okay, immediately to be... Okay, on a point of procedure. Yeah. Uh, uh, Councillor, you need to withdraw that unparliamentary uh, language. Thank you. And apologize. Thank you. Or I'll have to ask you to have you removed, sir. Go ahead. Okay. Are you going to withdraw that comment? Because you can insult other members oh. of council. All right, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. No, I'm going to have to ask you to leave, Councillor Chu, and you have to sit down. You don't make the rules here, sir. I'm waiting for answer. No, you're not, because that was in. You well, are you actually. Ask. You have a point of privilege called against you, sir, and you have to respond to who, the point of privilege. Who, Again, the rules don't change. So you either have to withdraw your comment or you have to leave. Those are your choices. But that's not a swearing. No, it's insulting, sir. Okay. And you're not so, allowed to okay. insult others. I, I, okay. That is insult. Yes, I'm sorry I say something insulting, but stop being a little kid. Sir. Like every time I say something, sir, again, you, you just did it again. I'm going to rise on a point of privilege here. You have to stop, Councillor Chair. Day one of uh, council back in the fall as a reminder. What did the councillor say after that meeting, Matthew? Yeah, Dallas, afterwards, uh, the mayor and councillor Chu, uh, they seemed to calm down a little bit, uh, but they were sort of sticking to their guns after the session was done. And our cameras cut up to them, and here what they had, here's what they had to say. I think what's important for my colleagues on city council to remember is that citizen ex citizens expect better. Uh, they expect folks who are prepared, who know what they're doing, uh, who have done their homework, uh, who are not grandstanding and who are focused on what's right for the city, not on what may or may not be right for their political career. It's very frustrating. We have a, a so-called leader of the city council continuously only want to have one opinion. That's his. And nobody else matters. That's not right. I'm not the only one. A few minutes after what I have said, you heard that other councillor also challenge him as well, basically on the same point. So the other councillor I have spoken to, they feel the same way. It's just that they is the mayor. Yeah, so you have it, Dallas. Uh, day one of the fall session, uh, Councillor Chu and Mayor Nenshi not getting along. Uh, I, I don't want to say for certain, but I'm not sure if they're going to be exchanging uh, holiday cards uh, this December.